traders and welcome back to another edition of what's moving in the forex market as always please keep in mind that all comments made are for instructional and educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice also as a reminder check out www.pristine.com for our upcoming week of free webinars Monday September 21st why everyone should discover prop trading and as you can see we've got a number of other webinars listed throughout the week so again check out www.pristine.com for that full list and uh, schedule of upcoming webinars we'll hopefully see you there alright taking a look at where we are here starting off this week upper left euro US dollar we can see here that starting to come in a little bit we're getting a little bit of selling pressure uh, overall this daily trend is more neutral than anything but we've got a slight upward bias you can see that we've kind of got this series of higher highs and higher lows so we're grinding our way higher we'll see if buyers begin to step up at this uh, support level down here which we're really into but no strong bias one way or the other really just gonna follow the intraday trend and see where that takes us <clears throat> moving on over to Aussie dollar US dollar this one here had a nice uh, rally higher over the last couple days and, and weeks but is now into resistance and so we'll have to see if we're going to begin to roll over and come back down or are we going to start to stabilize in this area of support and try and push a bit higher up into this 7377 level so that that'll be interesting to see how this plays out over the uh, the coming days and weeks taking a quick glance at the weekly chart you know you can see here the weekly is up into this resistance level that we were just taking a look at so if things are going to stay really weak as they've been this will be the level that we test and, and fall back down from if we're starting to see a bit of a change here then we will push further up into resistance and then we'll see if uh, if this does in fact push even higher so time will tell but in the short term I do fully expect that we'll see some some weakness but I also expect that buyers will be willing to step up at lower levels so um, no no real strong swing bias one way or the other at this moment New Zealand dollar US dollar this one's been pretty sloppy overall uh, overall in a downtrend though so so a weak or bearish bias should be the prevailing sentiment but again having said that you can see we've been kind of grinding our way higher with these overlapping candles which means support below us and we'll just have to wait and see where where things go from here we are trying to put together a bit of a, a rally where maybe we can start pushing up into these higher levels but at the same time again as I said we've got this weakness overall this this overall trend is definitely down and and so we'll see what happens uh, again overall bias would be to focus on the intraday opportunities as there really is no compelling swing pattern at this point US dollar yen consolidating sideways here we'll see which way it breaks I mean really that's that's what we have to wait for is it gonna break out of this range to the upside or is it gonna break lower you can kind of visualize that we've got this uh, pennant type formation developing where you have these um, highs which are getting lower and the lows which are getting slightly higher so contraction and volatility which will eventually lead to a expansion in volatility and that's what we really need to wait for but until then if anything just playing the intraday opportunities between supply and demand US dollar Canadian dollar this one continues to be strong got a massive bottoming tail uh, at the end of last week so buyers clearly willing to step up and we'll see if we can't push back up towards this 1.3316 area and possibly even higher but I mean you look at the weekly trend and this has just been incredibly strong yeah we had this one little dip lower which had the potential to 
generate additional weakness, but buyers stormed back, uh, regained the trend, and uh, here it is. Looks like it wants to move higher. If we can get over last week's high, that's exactly what the expectation will be. So uh, overall, a bullish bias for U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, but it, it's not going to be without some slopping around, you know, getting whipped around a bit just simply based on the daily. So bullish but cautious. And finally, pound U.S. dollar, you know, you can see this one had that weakness, which we've spoken about in past videos. We've been rallying higher over the last two weeks or so. We'll see if this is where it starts to roll over, if this is where we get the lower high and, and then we start to move back down. Um, but in any case, I'm not feeling too strongly about this daily trend one way or the other. I, I, I really can see it going either direction because we've got this support level below us now so i'm going to be more focused on playing the intraday levels of supply and demand focusing on the intraday trend and that's really the over overall theme that we've got going on here as we've reviewed these different uh, pairs all on the daily time frame you know the the indication or suggestion is that it's better to focus on the intraday trends as opposed to really looking for any kind of significant daily move unless we start to break some of those levels which I mentioned earlier. So uh, until then, it's really just going to be about focusing on the intraday trend. If we can get the break of some of those levels, that's when we can start to expect more fluid movement uh, off the daily time frame as well. So until then, you know, we just got to, as always, Stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident in what we're doing. Uh, and also make sure, guys, that you do check out www.pristine.com for that list of upcoming webinars. Of course, I encourage you to attend any and all that you find of interest. But until next time, you know, make sure to like and comment with any questions that you may have. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.